So it's currently October 2017. I recently just built my budget gaming PC on $500. This PC consisted of a GTX 1050 Ti and a Pentium processor. And the first game I bought on this PC was PUBG. And at the time, PUBG was literally popping off. I'm talking about there were millions of people playing this game. And thus, I started to play it as well. Now on this PC, this PC was so bad that when I actually tried to play the game, it ran for a little bit. But almost all the time, I was literally just going through walls with my character because of how bad my PC was. And I continued to play PUBG until one day, just like any other day, I joined the call with my friends on Discord. And one of my friends on Discord told me, they were like, yo, motives. There's this new game called Fortnite. It just came out and it's really fun. And he kept telling me this for days and days. But I continued to ignore him because I recently just bought a game for $30. Why would I choose a game that I paid for over a free game? And so day by day went by. And every single day I joined the call with him. He was like, yo, Motives, you gotta play this game. You gotta play this game. This game is super fun. Until eventually I caved in and I decided to download Fortnite. <laughs> And I remember as I was downloading Fortnite for the very first time, I was telling myself, huh, how can a free to play game be better than a game that you had to pay for? Like, how does this make sense? But I was quickly proven wrong. I remember my very first game on Fortnite. My aim was completely dog doo doo. Like I'm talking about, I was shooting around the guy instead of actually shooting at him because you know I didn't really have a, like much experience in FPS games because I recently just built my budget PC, right? So this was only like a month or two before I actually started to play Fortnite. I was only playing PUBG for maybe like a few weeks before I actually started to play Fortnite. So now once I actually started to get into FPS games, I realized that yo. My aim is trash, and so after like being defeated, after getting killed in my very first game, I was like, yo, I cannot lose, I cannot go down like this, I have to try again. And so I queued up into game after game after game, like this was my new drug. I was literally hooked like a flopper, because like this was like my new escapism, right? Like quite literally, like every single day after school, I literally just went home and grinded Fortnite. Like I'm talking about like 8 to 12 hours felt like five to 10 minutes for me. So I'm in the top three with a purple tack, a rip the purple tack. And I had a bunch of mats, even though I didn't even know how to build. And I was shaking, I was shivering my timbers in my chair. Like low key, like I was like, yo, like to be in this moment, to be in the top three out of a hundred people was just crazy. It was mind boggling. And I was like, yo, Am I really gonna win? Am I really gonna win? And I was literally like, just just like camping in a little corner behind rocks, behind walls, because I didn't even know how to build, right? So like, if you knew how to build back then, like you were automatically a threat. You were automatically like myth or ninja back then, but I didn't know how to build. And so the only thing I could do was camp. And suddenly it was the top two. I was like, yo, where is this dude? Where is this dude? Is he in a sky base? Is he in a one by one? Like, where is he? And then I encountered him. I saw him in the gap of a mountain. So I pulled out my legendary scarf and went bop bop bop. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, that is my first win. My whole family sleeping. I'm crying. I'm crying. Getting a win in Fortnite back then was low-key better than winning the lottery because now you can actually brag to all your friends. You can tell all your friends that you won a game by yourself, that you won, you stood out on top. Out of 99 people, you were the last one alive. And low-key that night, I went to sleep feeling like a king because the next day, I bragged to everyone. I bragged to everyone. I told everyone. I was like, yo, I just got a solo victory royale. And they're like, yo, for real? Like, they were looking at me like I just won the NBA. Like, low-key, this is equivalent to, like, LeBron James scoring, like, three 100-pointers in a row. Like, the amount of status, the status of winning a victory royale, getting a dub in Fortnite back then, was literally on this level. So the next day, I went to school all I could think about was Fortnite. Like whenever the teacher was writing on the board or whenever I was doing like an assignment in class, all I could think about was literally going home and queuing up into my next game because I wanted to get that victory royale. I wanted to achieve that win. I wanted to feel that adrenaline, that excitement of standing out on top out of 99 people. And so literally as soon as the bell rang after school, I would literally dart home and just get on my PC. Like I would not even eat. I would not even think about like doing anything else because all I could think about all my mind was Fortnite, and i would literally play 8 to 12 hours a day like with school like imagine like i would literally come home from school like three o'clock and i would play to like 12 or 1 every single day like literally the cycle was wake up 
go to school, play Fortnite, and repeat. And so I started to upload videos here and there just for fun. And I even got one of my videos, like my worst quality video. Like I literally recorded this video on my laptop and I had like two FPS. And somehow, like the clip from this video literally got on PewDiePie's channel. And at this point, I was like, yo, like I officially, like I felt like I made it at this point. Like Loki being featured, like even for two seconds on literally the biggest like YouTube channel on YouTube. Like this was Loki, like a dream of mine. Like Loki, like being featured, like it wasn't even my face, but just a clip of my video. Like knowing like this was a part of my video that got featured on like the biggest YouTube channel in the world was truly an honor. Now for some goofy, stinky, odd reason, PewDiePie decided to actually take down this video featuring my clip. I don't know why, but hey, it is what it is. So fast forward and Fortnite is having a World Cup. Now this actually inspired me to actually try to go pro, to actually try to become the best player in the world because I saw how much money these pros were making. I saw how much money there was to be made from playing this video game. Like low key, people were making six figures or more just from playing this game. So I was like, yo, if these people could do it, I can too. I would say one of the updates that killed Fortnite was adding mechs because in season X, they started to add mechs, right? And even in tournaments, like if you were in a tournament, like there was a chance for you to literally get one tapped by a mech. Like it, do it did not matter how good you were in the game. Like you could low-key be Mongrel or Clicks, and you would still get taken down by a mech because these things literally had aimbot. The black hole event happened in Fortnite and this was so big that literally the news in real life was talking about it because this is how big Fortnite was back then and the hype behind this game was just too real and so at this point there was like a brief moment for a few days no one in the world could play fortnite so obviously people were like huh what's happening next now many people were tired and they were asking for a new map so once chapter 2 released they released a completely different map but suddenly things weren't the same I started to see like more and more of my friends that once play the game every single day with me, they started to go offline. They started to actually stop playing and I was still playing like for the first few seasons of chapter two, it was fun. But after that, things started to drift off. At some point, it just got too much for me. Like low key, I was only getting like 50 to 100 views. And on top of that, 99% of my lobbies were literally bots. Like I couldn't even make good content because... I couldn't even face real players like all the players that I was facing were literally bots and so with all my friends leaving with me not being able to play tournaments with 99% of my lobbies being a bots and with me not even having fun with the game anymore I stopped playing Fortnite I was low-key feeling like I was forcing myself to play Fortnite because every single time I opened up the game every single time I queued up into the lobby I would low-key feel like I'm forcing myself to play not because I enjoyed it, but because I developed this huge ego. Because in the back of my brain, I was telling myself, yo, like, Motives, you spent thousands and thousands and thousands of hours into this game, right? Why quit now? Why not keep going? And this was the same exact mindset I had. Like, imagine you spent thousands and thousands of hours in a certain activity. Obviously, you wouldn't want to stop, right? Like, you would tell yourself you're at least half decent, right? So why not keep going? But eventually, the less and less I played, the more I started to expand my inventory on games. The more games I started to play. I started to play all these other games, including rip-off games of Fortnite. And I even made content off of these rip-off games. And the crazy thing is, like, I literally got like other like youtubers like youtubers with millions and millions and millions of subscribers they were literally like copying my content because i was actually the very first person to literally like blow up this game essentially right like i was getting hundreds of thousands of views every single time i would upload like i was uploading every single day and every single day i uploaded a video like overnight i would get thousands of views and surely you would think to yourself like if you were in my situation you like I went from getting 50 to 100 views like a month or uh, every few months like my video would get 50 to 100 views to getting thousands of views overnight. So you would say, okay, you made it, right? But at this point, I did not even enjoy making these videos. Like I was also feeling like I was being forced to make these videos because it just felt like a chore I had to get out the way, right? And even though I made over a thousand dollars making content off of these videos, I wasn't enjoying it. So as I started to play other games, I actually developed a very high caffeine addiction. Like low key every single day, every single time I would hop on the PC, I would literally drink a whole can of energy drink. And on top of that, I was literally buying like tubs and tubs of these like powders, these powders, these 
these gamer powders because I needed energy, right? Because for some reason, I felt unenergized. Like, I felt like I needed more energy in order to play these games. And so I developed this, like, high caffeine addiction because every single day, I was probably, like, drinking, like, 200 to 300 mg of caffeine because I thought I needed it because I, I wanted to have, like, this extra, like, like, this extra reaction time to play these games. But eventually, like, it started to get worse and worse and worse. And eventually, it came to 2022. Like, this is the start of a year, right? And low-key, when it's the start of a year, you want to make some New Year's resolutions, right? And at this very time, for some reason, like, it's almost too good to be a coincidence, I started to find these YouTubers, these self-improvement YouTubers. And two of these YouTubers were Ice Cold JT and Hamza. I didn't even realize that these guys were making the same exact type of content. Like, obviously, they both had their own take on it, but they were both self-improvement. Now, usually, when you, like, talk about or, like, you make a video on, like, a video game like Fortnite, it's gonna be about Fortnite. But with self-improvement, there's a variety of things that you could talk about. You could talk about, like, working out. You could talk about NoFap. You could talk about, like, spirituality. You could talk about discipline. You could talk about making money. Like, there's so much more things there's so many more topics in self-improvement that you could actually talk about what's funny is the people that they were describing in these videos was describing me now like hamza has a better representation it's adonis versus jeffrey and you see jeffrey he's known as this like low life this like beta male right like he's addicted to the hub caffeine he's addicted like he, he's scared of girls and all that right and so i was like wait like this dude is low-key me like he's low-key resonating with me because i'm i have all these things i'm doing all these habits that jeffrey is doing and so i'm like wait I don't want to be the Jeffrey to Adonis' story. I want to be the Adonis in my own story. And I want to inspire Jeffreys, the people that used to be like me, to actually be an Adonis, be a Sigma, be a Giga Chad, right? So I was like, yo, I was like, wait, how can I do that? How can I inspire others to be an Adonis, to be a better version of themselves if I'm literally at the lowest version of myself? And so I quit video games entirely. I actually started to take my NoFap streak seriously, which I'm still on to this day. I'm about 900 days clean in Jesus' name. And on top of that, I started to actually take care of my health, my, my physique, my spiritual health, my mental health. I started to take care of all these things, but all this wouldn't be possible if I never let go of my past ways because you gotta destroy your old self in order to recreate your new self. You have to let go of your past in order to hold your future. Yo, if you made it this far in the video, comment down below, surpass your limits, because that's what we're doing each and every single day on this channel. Like every single day that God blesses you, you are surpassing your limits. You are surpassing your limits by one each and every single day. And thus, you are given a chance. You are given a gift. That's why it's called a present. It's called the present, right? Because today is a gift. So you got to utilize this gift. You got to actually make the most of this gift. Like don't just like sit on your GMO like screen because if you think about it, all you're doing when you're playing video games is low key just looking at millions of pixels changing colors on your screen, right? So why would you like waste your time doing that? Like that just seems goofy to me. Why don't you actually, instead of leveling up in video games, level up in real life? Because when you do these degenerate habits, like playing video games or literally releasing your milk on your bed, you're being stagnant. You're staying comfortable and comfort is the killer of man because right now you're staying still. You are literally letting go of your potential to instant gratification. So why do that? Why actually, why not actually be disciplined? Why not actually be consistent, not in playing video games or releasing gallons to the hub, instead working out or maybe making your own YouTube videos or like starting a new hobby, starting a new business. Like there's so many other things that you could be doing, but you choose the instant gratificational route because it's easy. But the things that are easy, the things that are good for you at the very moment usually have consequences later on. So yeah, I spent 7,922 hours on a video game. Now, obviously, like probably not every single one of these hours was by me because obviously like my little sibling literally played on my computer for hours and hours, but it's probably nowhere near the thousands and thousands of hours that I spent on this game. But think about it like this, like... I haven't even spent this amount of time working out. I probably spent like at most half this time working out. So imagine what I could do with 8,000 hours. 8,000 hours of working out. Like low key, I could look like Baki. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I'm gonna keep moving forward though. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Stay blessed, stay wealthy, rebuke the kingdom of darkness and embrace the kingdom of righteousness. And remember to keep surpassing your limits and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.